to do a little video introduction on my silver fox rabbits. This is a meat and fur breed. As you can see, it's been bred to imitate the coloration and the quality, kind of, of the uh, actual silver fox that was very popular on fur farms back in the day. They colored just like one. And this is... I consider her my best doe. She's a really good girl. Um... This breed is the only breed that has standing fur, which means no matter what direction you brush it in, it kind of like takes the direction you brush it. Like when you brush back a coyote pelt or a mink or anything like that, or even other rabbit breeds, there's a feeling of going against the grain, but you don't experience it with this breed. <laughs> She's expecting a a treat or food or something. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm disturbing your night. I know it. Just let me pet you. See, it goes right. There we go. Oh, you want back scratches, don't you? See that? Of course, she's kind of... Whoa, she's shedding. She needs a good brushing down. Look at that. It goes... In any direction you brush it, it stands up like that. That's what this breed was bred for. This is this color was the only standard, but there's now blue. Some people are breeding chocolate silvers. And I've seen some people breed like uh, other colors, but they're not accepted. In the breed standard, but people are working on other varieties. I myself just prefer this color. I do like blue. And there's also white, solid white albino, and I have an albino buck that I breed to her. Actually, my only buck is the albino. <laughs> I don't have many rabbits. I just got a small rabbit tree, but this is Rosemary, and she just loves her back scratch. She is such a good girl. And this is a big breed. They get pretty sizable. <laughs> and they're very cold hardy. Um, we had this polar, polar freeze come through. That's why you don't see a water bottle. Because when I bring their water bottles out now, they freeze within minutes. So I bring out like a soup bowl of water at night. Let everyone have a soup bowl. And they drink from that. And then I bring the water, water bottles back at the uh, warmest part of the day. And then I take them up, give them another round of uh, bowls. And they're good. I'll show you my other rabbits. This here is a mother-daughter pair that I have. This is a mom. Her name's Cinder. She's shy, she's reserved, but she's not mean by any means. And that's her daughter. Her daughter does not have a name. I just call her Cinder's daughter. And she has low silver ring, which is, an, is not ideal. But I don't have plans to breed her. I will breed the mother again. Because she was the only one in the litter that was uh, darker. But she ended up staying. <laughs> and... They keep each other company. Hey, Cinder. You let me pet you? Cinder's blue. This is the blue silver fox. And her daughter kind of has sore hawks right now going on. So we're treating that. And it is starting to heal. And she's off wire. And I'll keep stuffing straw in here for her until she's fully healed. This big guy here is Panga, named after the type of boat, and uh, he's an albino silver fox. Now, he also has a standing fur. Come here, boy. Come here. He's nice. He's friendly. Look at that big head. 
but uh, he also has a standing fur. And I've seen some YouTube videos and Facebook threads that say uh, whites, the white uh, silver fox puts uh, quality back into the coats of their offspring. So supposedly if you are wanting some denseness back into your uh, babies, your generations, get some whites to breed to. And they'll fix that up. And I do get amazing coats out of his offspring. And he is a blue carrier. Some of his offspring come out blue. So that's good. You get some color out of his litters. And he's a good he's a good boy. Sometimes I bring him inside and hold him. <laughs> this girl here is Josephine. And she is my biggest. She is quite the chonker. <laughs> and I think the last time I weighed her, she was 11 pounds. She's like bigger even in size and in muscle mass than any other rabbits I got. She's huge. Hey. Now she's a little on the shy side, so. But... I know it. You're not like Rosemary, are you? No, you're not. And you see this brown rustiness on the coat? That happens with the silver fox. And it will shed out in time. Some of them get really rusty brown, especially if you uh, keep them outside. But that will shed out with the next uh, shedding. These, these guys here are some babies. Um, their mother is a daughter of Rosemary, who has found a new home on a different homestead. Uh, the daughter of Rosemary was returned to me. The former owner, who lives down the road, uh, decided to get out of the rabbits, and she came to me pregnant. <laughs> so I had a uh, litter on my hands. And the father is a buck that I had given him, too. So, there's two girls. And down here is a buck baby. Some of their siblings have found homes on different homesteads. This white one is going to my nephew. He's named her Vanny. I think after a video game character. And this girl, I don't know yet what I'm going to do with her. If I find her a home, I'll find her a home. If she has good structure, I will keep her. So far, I'm kind of liking the silvering, but I am a little afraid that it might get heavy silvering. Because she's young, and this is kind of getting on the heavy side. I think, in my opinion, yeah. Looks heavy to me. But they're all handling the cold very well. I need some fresh food. This guy down here, he's eating away. He's got a different feeder. Because I, I did have a uh, litter on my hands, so. Their mom was brought back here, returned to me, and she popped out some babies within a couple weeks. And I was off on the date. That's okay, we get everyone taken care of. <laughs> She'll go home with my nephew soon. He's got uh, one of uh, Rosemary's daughters. Her name's Whitney, and she is also pretty massive. I'd say she's probably bigger than uh, Josephine, but I'm not sure. I haven't weighed Whitney. But yeah, it's cold, and they're handling great. They're not distressed in any way. They just all finished drinking out of a bowl. Vanny here's very calm and confident. I like that. She comes in the house sometimes, lays on the couch, plays with the cats. Her too, but a little less. And these guys were born in September. And it is December 26. 
And I sold these guys without pedigrees because I just didn't want to put together the pedigrees. But the, all my other rabbits are pedigreed and I keep track of the uh, lineages. But I didn't for these guys. Might for Vanny. I'll put one together for my nephew to keep. But yeah, that's my silver foxes. If you were wanting a excellent fur and meat breed, this is the way to go. If you live somewhere really cold... This is a good breed to have. They handle it very, very well. And they, uh, they, they're a pretty docile rabbit. I have never, uh, had any issues out of them. In fact, I consider this the only breed I might ever have. I really like the breed a lot. Well, that's it. That's my buns. Mm -hmm.